What salary can I expect to earn once I enter the workforce as a certified surgical technologist? The salary for a surgical technologist varies throughout the nation. AST has current salary information on its website. You can also supplement your salary by taking call and working extra shifts. What type of education is required to enter the field of surgical technology? In order to take the Surgical Technologist Certification Exam, you must be a graduate of an accredited surgical technology program. Surgical technology programs range in length from nine months to two years. You may be required to take some classes before being accepted into a program. Once you've started your program, your coursework will include medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, microbiology, and pharmacology. You will also learn about surgical instruments, equipment, supplies, basic patient care concepts, the principles of asepsis and sterile technique, as well as many surgical procedures. Other courses may include robotics, computer science, and biomechanics. Learning occurs in the classroom, in a mock surgery setting, and in an actual operating room, where you will be allowed to participate in real surgeries with supervision by your clinical preceptor. Graduates of surgical technology programs may earn a diploma or an associate degree. The associate degree is the preferred academic degree for surgical technology. What is accreditation and how do I know that the surgical technology program I have selected is accredited? Accreditation is a system for recognizing performance, integrity, and quality in educational institutions and professional programs affiliated with those institutions. Program accreditation is granted by a national organization such as the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs, which is commonly referred to as KHEP. KHEP grants accreditation to surgical technology programs only after the programs have been thoroughly reviewed by another group, the Accreditation Review Committee on Education in Surgical Technology, which is commonly called ARCST. ARCST reviews programs to make sure they meet or exceed high standards of quality in education. ARCST is composed of representatives from the American College of Surgeons and the Association of Surgical Technologists, and it is the only accreditation review group that's officially approved by the American College of Surgeons and AST. Only those programs that meet ARCST's high standards will be granted accreditation by KHEP. To find out which programs have been accredited by KHEP, visit ARCST's website. Remember, you will not be allowed to take the National Certification Exam unless you graduate from an accredited program. So before choosing a program, make sure that it's accredited and that its graduates are eligible to take the National Certification Exam administered by the National Board of Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting, which is commonly referred to as NBSTSA. What does certification mean and how do I become certified? Certification is a process that helps determine by examination whether an individual has met a national standard in both theoretical and practical knowledge in a particular field. Upon passing the exam, you are authorized to use the credential Certified Surgical Technologist, which is abbreviated CST. Certification through NBSTSA is strongly recommended by AST and is required by many employers. Increasingly, many states are also recognizing that the CST credential from NBSTSA should be required as a condition of employment. How long does certification last? The certification period is four years. How do I maintain my certification as a certified surgical technologist? Maintaining your CST credential means that you renew your certification every four years. As a CST, you have two options to do this. You may retake and pass the CST certification exam on or before the expiration date of your certification, or you may provide proof to NBSTSA that you have completed 60 continuing education credits during your four-year certification period. What is the Association of Surgical Technologists and why should I join the organization? 
The Association of Surgical Technologists, AST, is the only professional organization in the U.S. for surgical technologists. Since it was formed in 1969, the primary purpose of AST has been to ensure that surgical technologists have the knowledge and skills to administer patient care of the highest quality. This has been accomplished through accreditation, certification, and education. AST offers educational publications, products, and events of interest to surgical technology students, instructors, and practicing surgical technologists. What are the benefits of becoming a member of the Association of Surgical Technologists? Surgical technology students may join AST at a special reduced rate and at the same time join AST's Student Association at no additional charge. Student members of AST receive a substantial discount on the National CST Certification Exam and receive a special student newsletter at no additional charge. All AST members receive a discount on the registration fee for the National Conference, Workshops, and Specialty Forums. Members can earn discounted continuing education credits and AST processes and maintains those continuing education credits for members at no charge. All members also receive AST's monthly journal and are eligible to participate at the local level in their state assemblies. At state assembly events, you can network with colleagues, identify potential employers, and engage in legislative activities. Where does the future of surgical technology lie? Rapid advances in medical technology will bring dramatic changes to the field of surgical technology. The operating room of today incorporates computers, electronics, and robotics to carry out routine patient care. Throughout your career, AST will help you be prepared to meet these advanced challenges. If you want to make a difference in someone else's life, then surgical technology is the career for you. Where can I get more information? Please visit AST's website or call AST's Member Services Department.